Hello and welcome back to my Die Cars Guide channel. And uh, in this video, I'm gonna review this the uh, Great Mazinga uh, by the uh, Bandai and Tamashi Nation. And this is the uh, metal build and it is already built. Uh, it's not a building kit, so this is the uh, premium collectible items with the uh, Die Cars skeleton and from the Bandai. So it's really really cool. Uh, I don't even watch the uh, anime myself. I have never seen it in my life. But after I bought these figures, I decided to watch a little bit on YouTube, especially the fight scene. And I have to be honest, it's just a bit too much for me. It's just too much fighting, kicking, shooting, all kinds of different lights and colors going on. It's just crazy. Um, but I get to know a little bit about these characters. I can tell that he has so many different uh, weapons and you know abilities. And I thought that it's really cool, so I don't really have a melee uh, kind of like a figures and most of my figures are all like transform out which they basically shoot with the guns all the time and so I decided to try this character because this guy is pretty much all about kicking and fighting punching enemy with his uh, fist and so on so he is pretty much a very strong uh, melee uh, characters actually um, so anyway let's start with the um, packaging packaging as you can see is uh, one giant box like this and this is 172 skills, I believe. It's about 7 inches tall and uh, compared to my uh, Ultraman that I reviewed it to you guys a while ago. You can see that Ultraman is quite tall actually compared to this guy. That's because uh, he is a 1-6 skill and 1-6 skill is usually about between um, 28 to the uh, 32 inch uh, centimeter tall. Uh, so the reason why I say 28 to 32 is because some of the characters like Black Widow's as uh, she's short compared to Iron Man or the uh, Thor uh, or the uh, Captain America who are like a really tall guy so they're about uh, 32 centimeter. So one six scale is the correct size for around about that you know height. So depending on the characters you will go a little bit short or a little bit tall and so on and so forth. So, but this guy is supposed to be a massive machine. Uh, he's supposed to be a really big robot. So, and uh, he comes with some of these uh, cool accessories. That's what I like about Bandai. They come with so many different kind of accessories. And you can do all the things that you can use your imagination, I guess. So, he comes with a little weird uh, plane. And this is where the pilot is. So, the pilot will fly over in the animation, what I saw, and then he will sit on the top of his head. So, this is a removable piece, actually. And when you put this in, and then he's supposed to control this whole robot and uh, fly away, basically. And then he can start fighting with all the enemy and monsters and all kinds of things like that. So, yeah, it's really cool figures. And let's check the accessory that come with it. So, basically... Like I said, he's a melee character, so he doesn't have any guns, which is, yeah, um, weird. And the only gun he has is this. This is the uh, machine gun, apparently. It comes straight under his arm pit, so basically in this joints. And he will lift his arm up, and then this thing come out. And then in a movie, this is basically start shooting enemy with this, basically. He had a couple uh, hands, uh, this one looks like a gun holding style, but he has no gun. The only thing I can think of with this hand is this uh, sort of like a boomerang style piece that attached to his chest. And you can just put it in his arm like this, and then he will throw enemy with this boomerang. And he got a couple of relaxed hands, as you see here. It's really nicely done, actually, all the little joints, you can see clearly that it's really nice. Um, all the paintwork is immaculately well done. Um, so when you take the boomerang off and you need to cover the chest, right? So you got this little piece to cover his chest, basically. And then you got these covers for his legs. So basically, uh, you can take this uh, blade off and then you just put replace with this to make it all flush and looks like a normal leg without any weapon. And at the back, also again the same thing. You see, this is a flight pose. So if you take it off, and you can replace with one of these to make it looks like a flash again. And he has his knee pointy thing as well. This is a uh, kind of dangerous, basically. So uh, I 
don't want to use it because it's quite sharp. So yeah, it's basically supposed to stick out on his kneecap and then hit people with this uh, pointy thing. So yeah. And also he has this uh, alternate uh, jetpack. So you got the silver things. But I thought that this one is not very attractive compared to this glossy uh, red paint on the back. So I use this one instead of this. But if you prefer this one, I think this is also fine. This one is a little bit smaller than the red one, if you see it. See, it's slightly smaller and slightly different uh, position, but yeah. It's still not bad. I mean, I, I like all the little details here. You got all the different silver effects and go on. And you got the little fire effects underneath there as well. And it comes with a dynamic stance, which is really cool, and you can post it as a standing or you can treat it as a flight pose as well so you can have two different options which I forgot to take out the pose um, stands by the way so it's in the box still um, but anyway so I don't normally use the stands anyway so yeah and this is another weapon that he has so this is a um, I think it's kind of shoot out his arm is basically can detach and treat it as a rocket launcher and then you can see the, all the uh, silver pieces like a grilling or something like that and then that thing is supposed to spin and then it shoot out and fight you know treat all the enemy with his uh, punch basically um, yeah so this is one of the cool things from his uh, animation which I really like wow this is cool and I guess the whole face go off and shoot people with an arm rather than a bullet so anyway, so he has quite a lot of stuff. If I show you the uh, box and you can see it at the back here, um, you see that he has a flight post. You see that the one on the feet and that is the one that I took it out and uh, borrow it uh, in my Hot Toys uh, war machine for the effects. But uh, since it's broken and now I can't actually uh, attach it back in this guy anymore, which it kind of like sucks. But then again, I don't use the flight post, so it doesn't matter too much for me for now, I suppose. And you can see that quite a lot of uh, possibility in terms of pose. And you see this uh, kneecap there. This is how he actually fight people with his silver uh, pointy thing. Yeah, he's basically a melee character, so he can do a lot of kicking and punching and soul fighting and all kind of things. So yeah, so this is the... Um, yeah, uh, cool characters. So I'm gonna pause it for a second. Okay, so I put on a camera on a tripod and so that I can physically show you this character a little bit close up. Uh, I'm not gonna do too much articulation because uh, as you know, uh, all the articulation on the premium collectible are the same, they're all basically the same idea. Um, but this guy is hard to say in terms of possibility, he is incredible. He can do so many things with it even easier than the um, Hot Toys or the uh, Transformer that I have. Um, the whole thing is a die-cut skeleton. You can feel, uh, of course, all these pieces are uh, plastic, but you can feel all the joints are cold to touch, which is really nice. And underneath that, you can see that this is the uh, die-cut piece, a massive die-cut piece there. And you can feel everything is heavy. And uh, Daika is not only on the legs, not like my Ultraman, and this one will go all the way to the top, from top to uh, bottom basically. I like Daika Skeleton, this is the best build for the figures, I mean, that's what I was looking for in my Ultraman, and unfortunately uh, he let down a little bit because it's only used Daika on the legs and nothing at the top, everything hollows and cheap and feel a bit plasticky. And that's why I said that you. I want to show you the premium collectible items, what it looks like. And this is one of those premium collectible, I have to say. Uh, okay. And uh, another cool thing about the Bandai is the, uh, the they have uh, loads of articulations and they thought about all the little details. And let me show you what I mean by that. So not a lot of figures, they you know, they don't put that much attention to detail, but Bandai's is really crazy when they do a premium collectible like this. Let me say, show you here. I think it's easier if you see it yourself. So you see the knee joints are like this. When I bring it down, you can see that the gap come up automatically. 
And there's so much engineering going on here. They thought so many things to make these uh, little things happen. So for example, right, you can see all the ugly pieces there. But check this out, kind of cover this up by itself. So you can just move it up and down and you can cover it. It's really nice. I mean, that's little detail like this. Uh, it really makes me like, wow, you know, it's like, this is cool. So you see that little joints here. There, you can see inside that there's a little silver piece, not clearly on the camera, but I can see it in my eye. So if I bring it back and you can see it's all shut by itself. And all the joints are very strong. You can see it doesn't matter what I shake and it doesn't move. That's what I'm expecting on my Hot Toys and any any other figures that I receive. And none of my Transformers are, you know, um, like uh, Hot Toys. And all my Transformers are solid like this. Doesn't matter what I do or how much I shake, they stay in the same place. And that is a premium quality. This is what I mean by this. And you're paying the extra money for this kind of things, basically. Um, so yeah, and you, not only on this and the arms, it can move around and underneath that, I will show you one more thing. This is how the uh, he shoot enemy. So the whole things on this silver uh, purple thing is supposed to take it off, and then you can attach these things underneath there, and that's where he will shoot enemy with it, basically. Yeah, so. That's pretty much it. You can see that inside there also there's a little die cast piece here, all the joints. Uh, as a result, everything is solid, uh, very st stiff joints, and really, really nice to touch, really. I can feel this is really good quality build from the start to finish. So, yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. I'll show you in the next video.